Hello, church family, and welcome to Pause to Pray on this beautiful, sunny day. I mean, just look at it here. It is just fantastic down here at the river. And, uh, and we are here to pray together, and I want to share a few updates with you and things going on in and around the church family. And uh, first of all, if you, uh, if you happen to miss it, um, we shared with you that we're praying for uh, the French family, Marilyn French. She uh, lost her brother last week. Uh, after suffering from a stroke, uh, her brother Jerry passed away. Uh, he lived in the States, uh, so I don't think that uh, any of you would have uh, known Jerry well, but uh, uh, we want to be praying for Bob and Marilyn this week as they mourn the loss of Jerry and pray for his family and really pray that this is uh, an opportunity for them to hear from the Lord in a way that maybe they haven't they haven't experienced before, that God can get their attention, and that Bob and Marilyn, as they pray for her family, as we pray for her family, that uh, that they would experience the comfort that God brings, and that they would hear uh, a word of uh, real, like, deep uh, love and conviction from God in their hearts uh, as they process the loss of Jerry. Uh, there's a few other things that we want to be praying for before we um, begin praying for them. Uh, it's also Father's Day this week. And so with uh, Father's Day coming up, we want to be remembering to pray for all of the dads uh, in our families, uh, in our church family, in our community, uh, uh, fathers everywhere. And we are uh, we're thankful for our fathers. Uh, we know that uh, for many of us, uh, there's a lot of painful memories too, because uh, fathers aren't perfect. Uh, I know that uh, a lot of us out there uh, have lost fathers, and uh, this can be a really hard time, but an important time uh, to remember and to honor and to pay tribute to their memories. Uh, so uh, for the vast amount of stories um, that fatherhood has brought into the experience uh, of all of our lives. Uh, we want to pray this week as we approach Father's Day. Uh, pray for, pray for healing, pray for joy, pray for soft hearts, pray for um, restoration of relationships. Uh, thank God for uh, the opportunities we did have to spend with our fathers, whatever those uh, situations might be for you. Uh, we want to pray too for the hurting families who are missing fathers, um, young fathers who've passed away and over the past few years in and around our church family. I'm thinking of uh, the Minan family. I'm thinking of uh, there's a family from sports camp that uh, was also really connected with Bethel Church that uh, lost a young father there. Um, the Schroeders family. Uh, there's, there's a lot of families that we need to be praying for as Father's Day approaches. And uh, and at this time of year, too, I just want to acknowledge that there's a lot of students going through uh, the, the, the trials of exams. And uh, we want to remember to pray for all those uh, young people in our congregation who are wrapping up school for the year. And, uh, and over this week and next week, they'll be writing exams. Uh, they'll be finishing up classes next week and the week after uh, if they're a little younger. So uh, we want to pray for all these uh, students and their families as well. So. Let's uh, walk and pray together a little bit today as we bring these things and whatever else is on your heart today before the Lord. Most High God, we call out to you because we are weak and you are perfect and strong. You are the one who knows everything and sees everything. You are the one who loves perfectly and you do all things well. And we don't understand so many of the things that you do, God. And when we don't understand, I pray that you would bring uh, to us a peace and a trust, knowing that you, the maker, creator of all things, the one who knows and sees everything perfectly, have a perspective that we just don't have. You have a knowledge that we cannot conceive of. And so for the things that are hard around us, the loss of people we love, like for Marilyn and the French family right now losing Jerry, we pray for comfort and peace for them. We pray that for those in her family with questions about why this happened and, and, uh, and who wrestle because of just a horrible thing like a, a stroke to happen and, and suddenly take someone, um, Lord, I pray that 
there would be uh, an experience of your spirit and your self-revelation that begins to transform hearts and transform our understanding and our trust in you, and their trust in you in particular right now, God. And we pray this over Father's Day as well, as we, as we celebrate Father's Day, but we acknowledge that Father's Day is not merely a happy celebration. It might be a celebration of memories of a father that has passed away recently or years ago, a father that we might have spent years with or that time was cut very short. Um, Lord, we look to you and we know that you have revealed yourself as our Heavenly Father. We trust that you are good and that you mean to be called our Heavenly Father. It's no accident. Um, and we pray and I pray over those families that are missing their fathers in particular, that the understanding of you being our Father, not that it would make everything make sense, but that it would begin to transform uh, our understanding, our, our, our view of the world, our understanding of ourselves and our purpose and the reasons that you've put us here. So God, I pray for your healing touch on those families that are missing fathers. I pray for your healing touch on families that have fathers that were not the fathers they needed to be. We're not godly examples. We're not, we're not leading their family in, a, in, in the mission of Jesus. Uh, I pray for fathers who families uh, uh, have right now who, who need to step up. And I pray that those fathers would experience a transformation of their hearts as your spirit works on them. I pray that it would come through knowing you and giving their hearts over to you. And for those fathers who have given their hearts to you, who are following you and love you, Lord, I pray that uh, you would strengthen them, build them up, keep them receptive to hearing from you and changing their ways where they need to change and holding true to the path where they need to stand firm. So God, we pray a blessing on fathers. And Father, we pray a blessing over all the students who are going through uh, the last stages of the school year. If they're high school or uh, college students, they're probably working. High school students, they're writing exams and finishing up. And for elementary students who are finishing up the year, I pray that anxiety wouldn't overwhelm them. We pray that they would know that uh, they are supported and loved by so many around them and that who they are is not dependent on the performance that they they give on an exam or in a class, but that their value is in who you've made them to be. And their value f is found in their, in their, well, in their relationships, in their being a creature that you have made and all these important things. Um, but God, we pray that they would succeed and work hard and do well as they finish up this school year. And that we, uh, we pray a blessing over them uh, for strength and perseverance uh, to finish this year well. We thank you for them, and we thank you for the ways that you are at work in our lives today. Whatever is on our hearts, whatever we are feeling good or bad about, whatever we feel insecure about, whatever we feel successful in, God, we hand it over to you. We pray that your will would be done in our lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you, church family, for praying with me today. It's always uh, good to go for a walk with you and pray and talk. If there's any, ever, anything you want to talk or pray about, uh, just please get in touch with me. Um, you can do that through our church uh, website. That's the easiest way. Or if you just have me on your email list, you can respond back to a pause to pray video, whatever works for you. But uh, until next time, see you later. Bye.